Hi guys, so today I'm going to do my October project pan introduction and I'm really, really excited to share these with you. These monthly project pans have been so successful. Basically, I picked some products to focus on for a month um, and see how much progress I can make. Sometimes they roll over to the next month, sometimes they don't. Um, they just, I wanted for that month focus on them. So if I get a product that, you know, is only good in the summer and I use it for in August, then I don't have to roll it over to September, something like that. Um, but I can still get some progress on it and I don't have to necessarily finish it. So this month I have six products I'm so excited to share with you. There are three rollover products from September and I think they should be finished by this month, we'll see. And then I have three new products. One I just threw in here to see if I can make some decent progress on it and um, two of them I would really like to finish. But we'll see how realistic that is. The first one that is a rollover product is my NYC Sunny Bronzer. I've been working on this for so long and I've repressed it in May. I didn't use it a lot of the summer, but I started using it last month or the month before. And this is what it looks like. It doesn't look like it has very much left, but it's so, so pigmented. And as you can tell, I'm pretty pale, so I don't need very much of this. And it's just so packed in there. It's ridiculous, like even after repressing, it, it's still so pigmented, not very powdery, like it's awesome, but when you're trying to pan it and try and use up or want to try different things, it's not very good that it keeps holding on. But it's very great value. I would definitely recommend the NYC Sunny Bronzer. It's in Sunny um, because it lasts forever. The next thing that was a rollover product was my e.l.f. All Over Color Stick in Persimmon. This is what it looks like. It's kind of a highlighty pink. Um, I use it as a base for my highlighter and blush. Sometimes depending on what I like my face is looking like. Sometimes I'll put an extra highlighter on. I usually put a blush over this just because it's really really shiny and I don't want like it super shiny right there. But um, this is all I have left of it but it might last me all month. But I am hoping to get this done because I have other cream blushes I would love to use but I'm trying to focus on one thing at a time just so I can see some progress and get things finished and get them out um, because I'm not a huge cream blush fan, especially the colors that I have. I'd rather just have like a natural one um, that I can use on like day, like just lazy days I guess. And this one is okay. I just find it really, really shiny and sometimes it, if I have like a BB cream on, my face is already like a little shiny I guess and so I don't want some like a cream blush that's super shiny hopefully that makes sense um, but it is a gorgeous color if you're looking for something kind of shiny and pinky but personally I just don't really like cream blushes so if I the one cream blush that I want is something like that's perfect for me I guess um, the next thing that's been in since June, and I've been using it since June, and even before that, was my Benefit Erase Paste in number two. It came from a bigger palette, and this is the only thing from that palette I have left. Um, I use this every morning underneath my eyes. It is in number two. I don't struggle with bad under eye circles, so I'm not looking for something necessarily to brighten, but I get like, it's white under there, so... It's just, my eye, under eye is just really weird, so I need to add color. So this number two is actually working pretty well. Um, if I repurchase it, I might look at like what the number one looks like, um, just to see, but number two is working well, and I really like it, but I have other under eye concealers that I would love to have, like love to try, but like I, I have other under eye concealers, but I'm trying to focus on one thing at a time just so that I can see some progress because if not, I just get so discouraged. So I try, like, I have only been using this under eye concealer since June. I have not touched another one just because I want to get this done. Um, and it really helps you see the progress instead of, like, switching and then it, you can't see the progress um, very much. And it just gets very, like, I'm using these. Why are they, you know, why are they still, like, full? But then... And you realize, oh, well, I'm using all of them. So if you use one thing at a time, obviously you're going to see more progress. The next thing is the Maybelline Expert Eyewear Eyeliner in Slate Gray. Um, I don't necessarily like gray eyeliner, but I've had this eyeliner for such a long time. It has a black cap. It's supposed to have a gray one. Don't know where it went. But this is what it looks like. I've been using this um, on my lower lash line. And I can get it to be pretty dark. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. Um, 
I can get it to be pretty dark. It's kind of a bluish gray. Um, I just would prefer to have a black one, but I'm not just going to throw it away because it's not terrible. It is pretty dark, and since I am so fair complected, it doesn't look super weird on me. Like, the gray kind of looks okay. Um, it looks dark on me. <laughs> because I'm so fair, but I prefer just a black eyeliner, um, and so I'm trying to work through some eyeliners because I just accumulated so much. I think part of it, I got it in Birchbox, and then I just didn't wear eyeliner for a long time, and I still don't wear a lot of eyeliner. Like, this will take me maybe two months. We'll have to see... Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm not sure how long this is going to take me because it is like in a twist up form. If it was in a sharp, like a pencil form, it would take me forever because I tried to put, I put a blue one in, in the summertime that I love. Um, and it didn't, it was a pencil and it didn't go very far. I used it every day, but it just didn't move. Uh, the next one is a eyeshadow palette and I've been putting in like small eyeshadow palettes because in 2016 I want to pan a large eyeshadow palette but I wanted to get through some of these small ones or ones that were older if you watched my September project pan I went through like a huge palette and the eyeshadows were old and powdery so it took me it didn't take me very long um but like I said in 2016 I want to pan a big palette I have it picked out um so I'm trying to work on these small ones just so I can get some things through um before I you know just focus on one big palette so the one I'm going to work on is a coastal sense um quad um, it's a Reveal 3 Palette Sampler in Desert Bloom. I believe I got it this summer in my birch box. And the colors are gorgeous. They're perfect for fall. And I've been wearing them. A lot of times I'll mix these three colors as a base and put this in the crease. And then I got a eyeshadow palette in my birch box um, this last month. And I've been using, like, they have a highlight, like a highlight shade. I've been using that as a highlight. Um, so I've been really, really enjoying this so far because I've been using it for a few days. But I'm hoping to get this used up. I really like the colors. Um, but like I said, I have, a, and I have a ton of eyeshadows. I love eyeshadows. So I'm really trying to, like, focus on these little palettes. And I'm hoping I can get through one a month. Um, so I get through three more maybe by the end of the year just so that, when I start the big palette, I've already like gone through a few, I guess. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch some of the colors for you. I always have to look in because I forget which ones I've swatched. The only color that's not so great is what's on my pinky, which is this color. But like I said, I mix these three. And so it works out. So even though it's not the best color, I don't use it by itself. Um, but yeah, this is a great like crease color for me and I love it. But it's from the Revealed 3, which I think I might, I don't know if I have the Revealed 2 or 3. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but I bought it earlier this year. I have too many eyeshadows. So I'm trying to work through some old ones and then get back to the newer ones and be able to buy some because I had so many. Like the palette I used up last September, I have, or the last month, I have no idea where it came from. Like my mom, I'm sure, gave it to me for a Christmas present, but I had to have been in high school and I've been out of high school for six years. So, yeah. Good thing powder products don't go bad very easily. Um, but that's the eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be working on this month. Like I said, I've been trying to work on like one per month. The next thing is a color tattoo. I was working on Badge of the Bronze um, since about May, I think, April or May, and I don't have very much of that left, but I thought for the fall I would take out the Maybelline color tattoo in Pomegranate Punk. I just think it would be a perfect like fall color. And so I've been using it with that palette. It looks gorgeous, and it looks gorgeous by itself too. Um, I'll go ahead and give you a swatch of it. So it's kind of a bronzy red color, like a, it's really gorgeous. It looks kind of, di it looks different on your skin than in the pot, um, cause this really scared me. I went crazy and bought like all the color tattoos at one point years ago and mine are still super creamy. I've never had an issue with them drying out and yeah, so um, I just want to see how much progress I can make with this. I'm hoping maybe hit pan or something because I've been switching between this and Badge the Bronze, which is also a great like fall color, but 
Um, I feel like Bad to the Bronze for me is kind of like an all year round color where this is more for me a fall color. So I'm hoping I can maybe hit some pan on this this month um, and really just focus on this one. And because um, this is one of the ones I think I want to use up in 2016. I'm trying to find like some products that I can focus on for 2016 because last year I did an inventory which really helped. Um, and this year I want to pick products that I can focus on to finish up um, just that are older and things like that. So that was the last product in my October project pan. I hope you enjoyed. Um, in about two weeks I will be showing you an update and then at the end of the month, I will be doing a finale and hopefully a lot of these will be finished up. Obviously, I don't have like a foundation in here. I thought about adding a foundation because I'm like super close to finishing one, but I thought six products was fine and I'm just still using the same foundation anyways. So if I finish a foundation, I'll just show it in my empties and things. But obviously, I don't have a full face, but these are products that I try and focus on and normally I don't try and put like two blushes or two bronzers or two like... um cream break blip bases like the only thing I'll do um is like an eyeshadow palette because I use more than one eyeshadow at a time so um I try not to put like doubles of things just so I can focus on one like certain product of a like one type one product from like a t I don't know <laughs> I don't know how to say this like I don't put doubles in here because I want to focus on one for that month like I might use like if I had like this bronzer I might use another bronzer like one or two days, but I try to only use this bronzer um, just so I can see some progress and get through it. Let me know if you're doing a project pan or pan, pan that palette or have any tips um, because I'm always open to tips. I um, get on Instagram a lot with the hashtag project pan, stuff like that, pan that palette. So if you're on there, I probably have seen you and just kind of see how everyone's doing in that area because um, I've been really working on trying to declutter my life but at least use up the products that are old um, my declutter process is going to be so long it's going to be ridiculous but we're going to get there eventually i will talk to you later have a wonderful day bye